Give me a minute. Let's talk about the Polkavo Airport in St. Petersburg, Russia, which is currently on fire. The industrial section of it is at least. It's, the airport's closed for the time being. A massive thousand square meter fire is burning and filling the air with an acrid, uh, irritating smoke. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I, I want to, because I did that in a different video. This is actually about the airport itself. Because there's a couple of things. I, I meant to do this report like two months ago. But you guys know how much I post. It's hard to keep up. And to really give this story mm, everything it deserves, I just didn't have the bandwidth. And I don't even have the bandwidth today. So I'm going to give you the highlights. This airport was in bad need of investment. And about 14 years ago, a bunch of people invested in this airport to make it Russia's biggest airport. About two, maybe three months ago now, uh, the Kremlin nationalized it. They took ownership of it. Now, they say to the three of the countries involved, because this an airport like this, you're talking about $20 billion, if I'm not mistaken, in foreign investment to get it up to snuff. And three of the countries involved have close ties to Russia. And in fact, two of them have remained completely neutral in this conflict. And those are Middle Eastern countries. I forget which one just now. Um, I'm going to come back to this. I swear to God I am. Um, but what's interesting about this is that all of the companies that have been nationalized so far have been Western until Pota Pol uh, Polkavo happened. Now, Putin seems to have cut some kind of a deal where the foreign governments that are friendly to the Kremlin will still get their cut. They just are not involved in the administration. They can't say anything about how the airport is run or managed. Um, they, have no say, they have no say in anything. Trust us, boys. We're going to pay you because we go way back. Mm. That's not anything anybody wants to hear, especially not when it's your 20 billion that they took. So I am I just wanted to touch base on that. There's more of a story here than just the fact that maybe a drone hit a hangar and maybe an airplane full of chemicals is on fire because that seems to be what's happening. There's a whole endemic corruption with the Kremlin. The seizure of Western assets is now in the trillions of dollars. Jarlsberg Beer, the Poltavo Airport, the list goes on and on. Russia is just seizing the assets of every company still doing business in Russia, and Putin is turning it over to his oligarch friends. It's a government based on theft. And it cannot and will not be allowed, in my opinion. And I want to thank Bobby. Hey, Bobby, out in San Diego, living the life, living the good life, 70 degrees and sunny every day. Bobby's the sponsor of this video because he joined the Patreon at the Dobra Veecher level or higher. If you would like a video sponsorship once a month like Bobby... Go ahead and join the Patreon. Sure would appreciate it. Thanks, guys.